Awake. Awake. Awake and arise, dreamers of America. The world is filled with opportunity that the dreamers of old couldn't even imagine. Inside of a little acorn waits a giant oak tree. Inside of an egg sleeps a bird waiting to take flight. And in the highest vision of our soul, an angel is beginning to stir. This chapter, and what ultimately the book is about, is to dream big. Dream big, guys. Sometimes when we dream, we think it's so far out there that we're never going to be able to get it. Some of the today's greatest inventions were yesterday's wildest dreams. If you, if you were around a thousand years ago, and you told someone, if you looked up at the moon, and you said, someday, man is going there, they would say you're crazy. It's not going to happen. Fifty years ago, if you said, I'm going to invent a little box that's going to allow me to talk to anyone in the world, read any book I want, and watch any show I want, you'd be laughed at. And today, if you said, I'm going to make the blind see, you probably think that person was crazy. Well, I have some news for you. In the medical field, they are taking the first steps to actually making that a reality. The point is, is to dream big. Now, I want you all to do something. Think about a dream you have. Not a dream to just get through this week, but kind of your life dream. What do you really want to get? And aim high. I'm going to give you about five seconds. Go ahead and think that over. Now that you have that dream in your mind, I want you to think of all the reasons why you're not going to get there. Is it money? Time? You don't know the right people? Okay. Now think of all those reasons. And stop it! 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 You may think, I want to be the next CFO. But I can't even get an analyst position out of college. I'm not going to be able to do that. Stop it. I'm never going to make $100,000 a year to support my family. I can barely afford the bus to my minimum wage job. Stop it. I'm never going to have a family because who can love someone like me? Stop it. All you're doing is hurting yourself. You are the master of your destiny. You are the captain of your soul. And that really is true. Really think about that, guys. The only thing standing between you and your dreams is yourself. And I really do mean that. When we're in our lows in life, that's when we, it's hardest to realize our dreams. When we've kind of hit rock bottom. But and it's hard to recognize it at the time, but those really are blessings. Those are times to really look at ourselves and look at our character and reshape what we need to do and to make it successful in our lives. For an example, I'm going to show you with you a personal example of mine. When I went into college, I was going to be Western's next best accountant. When I went in, all my family and all my friends' parents all told me I need to go into accounting to be successful. And I believed them. So that's what I went into. All through high school, I was always on the honors, honor roll. And this was just going to be the next thing. That was my dream at the time, or so I thought. This was until, and if any of you have ever taken Accounting 300, you'll know the pain. Uh, it was until Accounting 300, I actually failed it. The Western's next best accountant failed Accounting 300. This really turned my world upside down. It really did. It really shook me up. What were my parents going to think? What, were, what was everyone going to think of me? How was I going to be successful? I failed a class. But it was during that time I sat down and I really asked myself, Nathan, what do you want to do? What makes you happy? And I found that in finance. I said, Nathan, you really like finance. This is what you should go into. Don't matter, it doesn't matter what everyone else thinks. Do what you want to do. And I've done that, and I can tell you guys, failing that accounting course was probably the best thing that happened to me in college. How ironic is that? But it's true. And I know someday my dream now is to become a CFA. And it's only a matter of time before that happens. 
because I'm going to recognize each step I need to take and I'm going to do it. So to kind of recap everything, dream big. Don't sell yourself short. This is, this is a sales class. The last person you want to undersell is yourself. Don't let obstacles hinder you. Get over them and take the steps that you need to to realize your dreams. I'm going to leave you with one last thought that I'm sure all of you have heard in one shape, form, or another. And that is the world, and I think ourselves, are going to tell you a thousand reasons why you're not going to be successful. And it's up to you, and only you, to give it a thousand reasons why it's wrong. Thank you.